Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Enoch. Hope y'all had a good day. So, what I want to talk about is 2020. If you actually follow other channels, um, I shot his name out, Joey603. I think that's who you is. If you actually pay attention to certain rappers, Kodak Black, NBA Youngboy, they speak about 2020, what will actually happen. So, with Kodak Black, he is basically saying that the government has a year or so to do harm to us. And NBA Youngboy is technically saying that 2020 is going to be the end of the world. He may commit suicide. He may try to die on purpose and flee self-harm. So he is going to jump out of a car on a highway in 2020. So... Let me tell you what is actually going on. So, as of right now, there is a massive awakening happening, a massive shift, a splitting of timelines, and you have a division. You have a separation of consciousness. So, some of us are actually meant to wake up at this time. That is a universal law. So, you came here for a strong purpose. You came here to be able to experience the great awakening, going into a higher existence, being the fifth dimension. And what is actually going to happen is that 2020 is going to be the peak of everything actually taking place, even right now with the 5G. So this stuff is actually going to be rolled out completely at that time and they know that the energy is going to be very negative and dense and this is going to put people further asleep within the matrix so the angels is here now heaven on earth is here now what goes on in heaven is happening here now so this is a galactic battle and only a few people can actually witness this and others can't so this is the reason why your relationship is not working this is the reason you are waking up now this is the reason why you may be by yourself you may be lonely this is designed by nature to actually take place and we are in a state of sleep right now so we are dreaming but for some of us we actually wake up within this dream just like when we actually go to sleep and become aware and conscious that we are actually dreaming and this is how we can actually manifest our reality and do what we came here to do so follow your heart the fifth dimension works strictly from your heart so this is why you want to let go of the worldly things just like we're eating the meat you have to let that go because what will happen for some of the melanated people, even the other races, if you are not activated at a certain point, you will be stuck within that reality. So there is different realities that we can manipulate as of right now. So let's just say if, if it is like three different roles, you have the middle, you have the right, and you have the left. Right now, you can hop on whatever road you want to, but eventually you're going to go into that road that you put yourself on. So this is going to be your reality. And for some people that is actually stuck within the matrix, this may become their hell. And why is this? Because in the third dimension, there is the government spiritual attack. Fear, greed, you know, depression, all of that stuff. And this stuff is put there just so you can be stuck within that reality. And hell is very real and it is here now. So those people will be experiencing that. But for us angels, fifth dimensional beings, we will be all knowing. We will be tapping into the Christ consciousness so automatically whenever we see another alien group or a person we will be able to see through that person just like a mirror so at that point they will not be able to hide nothing from us because 
we will be tapping into our higher self. And this is why we came here. We came here to be, be able to take other people that is lost within the matrix with us and give them a shot and a chance at going into the higher realms, the afterlife, the field of reeds, the paradise. So you do not want to be stuck here because once 2020 get here, I would not be surprised if an actual demon just come in a room and sit right by you and say, what's up? What you finna do? You finna watch porn? Because that is what is going to actually happen and manifest. They put the truth in the movies all the time because they know what is about to happen. And they want to be able to plan this so some of the woke people out there, they can dissect that and break that down and be able to escape this matrix. So we are being attacked on every angle. And 2020 will be the peak. And I wouldn't be surprised if there is an actual apocalypse being with the the dead coming back to life with different type of viruses being out there with the the light from the sun being blocked this stuff is already being planned out so 2020 is going to be the peak of the ascension and even after 2020 it's going to get worse and worse because what is actually going to happen People is going to keep going down further in consciousness. So the people that you grew up with that is lost within the matrix, right? When you actually get a chance to see this person, you will not be able to overstand that person because they are literally running off of this fucking matrix. And they think that their problems is what is actually the pinpoint of their life. You know, to some of us, yeah, it's real, but that was put there and placed there just so you can cave your reality in and you cannot go to heaven, a.k.a. the higher dimensions of your consciousness. You can stay within this parasitic uh, energy grabbing matrix and when you get stuck there, it's just going to be a bunch of dark entities tormenting you and you're going to create that black hole for yourself and you may not be able to return out of that. And if you was to actually die at that point, not not knowing certain knowledge, this is how you would not be able to ascend and become different things, being a spiritual guidance, being an ancestor or things like that, a different star in the sky things like that so you will be stuck here for eternity even after you die because you didn't wake up on time you didn't know that you needed to actually fight back you didn't know that you had to actually fight to wake up and you have people coming around you trying to put you to sleep all the time you have demons in this reality trying to manipulate you and to get you to go into their parallel universe because they don't want you to go to the right way. They want you to go to the left way, being the wrong way. So a lot of you people out there are very important and you want to stop eating that bullshit because I don't care if what I post on YouTube, if that meat is still tempered with, that is still good to me. So I'm not going to put that aside and go back to eating actual meat because you're not finna have me right here being depressed. You're not finna have me over here, oh, let me go get a, a, a rope or something to hang myself. I don't want to be in that mindset. I want to follow my heart and be happy. So sooner or later, shit, I want to be able to fucking eat air, but I cannot do that right now. But you get what I'm trying to say? So if you are a melanated being and you still eating meat, you want to go ahead and get rid of that stuff because sooner or, or later that is going to put you behind as far as with you transcending into who you truly are you are going to be stuck here with the matrix and it won't be no coming back for that so you have to practice on making your heart light as a feather this means not being a evil wicked person this means not feeding into people bullshit. This means practicing good deeds. This means getting rid of things that don't lo that don't longer serve you. So if you are materialistic and you are a melanated person or just a other race, 
you have to let go of that stuff because eventually that is going to be the main exact reason why you stay back in this matrix and you are going to cease to exist. So your soul will be dim at that point. It will not be light. It will not be sparked. And you will be energy that is just flying around, just wasted into a, a deep, dark void, oblivion. So that was basically it. Um, 2020 is the peak of the great awakening. Um, you will actually start to see this. So if you lose friends, family, associates, and this is all a universal law. You feel me? This was planned out from the beginning and this is not personal, you know, so everybody is not meant to ascend, but we are trying to take as many people with us as we can because we don't want people to be left in this hellhole. We don't want people to witness the dark shit that is about to happen. So you will see a lot of stuff that you will not believe at a certain point. If you are awoke 